YouTube. I'm back with another video, and this one is called uh, How I Defeated My Narcissist. Uh, me, personally, I feel like I defeated him because I developed self-love. Um, covert narcissists, my opinion, my experiences, I feel like they go after people that struggle with self-love, people that are insecure, people that um, think low of themselves, um, people that don't think they're good enough. I don't know how narcissists can sense that they can look at you and tell that something is wrong with you or oh I can get over on this person so let me let me say what's up to her let me see let me talk to her but in my case I feel like I defeated my narcissist because I had to boss up and I had to get real with myself like hey something is not right and are you going to continue to let this person mind fuck you and lie to you, deceive you, and tell you that you're not good enough. And usually with my past, you know, I will still try to fight and try to make things work between me and whoever I'm dating or talking to at the time if something's going on if something's going wrong within a relationship it was always me trying to hold on and fix it and let me make things right how can I make things better oh it's my fault let me you know let me make it up to you whatever but in my situation I had to learn especially dealing with a narcissist I was never the problem I was never the issue. Uh, they project their insecurities, uh, their low self-esteem, their uh, uh, lack of self-worth onto you. And you just have to get real with yourself. You know, it's a feeling. And if you know something is not right, change it, do something about it, you know, like, in, versus instead of still being in this toxic relationship, trying to make things work, be real with yourself and say, hey, like, I, I, I don't deserve this, and I didn't do anything for this person to treat me the way he does, and that's what happened in my situation, um, uh, you know, I had to be, I got to be real. Uh, for the longest, I always struggled with relationships with the opposite sex. And my covert narcissist had brunk out the best in me. And he made me realize that I do have power. And my power was a walking away from his ass and not looking back. And this feeling, it, it feels so amazing that I can do this. And I don't feel bad. I don't feel no remorse. Um, I'm just happy that I, I had a real conversation with myself and I had to do what was right. And what was right for me is taking a stance for myself, putting myself first, making sure that my needs come first, my wants come first, versus trying to please another person that don't give a fuck about you. And the whole time while you're dating a narcissist, they are already grooming somebody else for torture, for mental torture. And they got the, the recycle supplies the the chicks they've been talking to way before you even came in the picture so they already got a backup plan well backup plans you know because no narcissist uh relationship lasts long 
the most it lasts like three to six months. And if it lasts longer than that, it's because you as the victim at this point, you're not to me, you're not a victim anymore because it's like, how dare you allow yourself to continue to go through this toxic abuse, mental abuse relationship with the narcissist? Uh, cause they, it's like, they like to play with your mind and they like to make you think you're crazy and something is wrong with them. But really and truly, they're the evil ones. Something is wrong with them. But at this point, you are already brainwashed. You are already underneath the spell they didn't put on you from the love bombing stage. So if you still with a narcissist after six months, you're, to me, you're not a victim anymore because by that time they did, I know they did so much stuff to you. I already know they tortured, tortured you. They already told you wasn't good enough. They already uh played on your emotions they already told you uh something about yourself that wasn't true like in my situation my ex covert narcissist he told me hey have you been going to the gym lately and I'm like uh yeah why why would you ask that oh because you gained weight and after he said it, he hung up the phone in my face and I'm like what the fuck but I feel like, you know, that was his way of messing with my mind, you know? And at the time, when I was still asleep, before I awakened to this motherfucker is crazy, I was looking in the mirror and calling my friends, sending my friends pictures like, hey, did I really gain weight? Like, is something really wrong with me? And the whole time, wasn't nothing wrong with me. It was always him. So I just feel like, you know, a lot of people out there, they struggle with self-love, self-acceptance. And what helped me was that I, I had to write affirmations. I had to remind myself, like, you are beautiful. Nothing's wrong with you. Um, you are the best. You are the greatest. Like, I had to remind myself that can't no man, can't nobody take that away from me. Like, I don't care what, I don't care if you really do think I gain weight. I'm still fine. Like, you know, so I just had to really boss up mentally. I had to really t get real with myself and have these conversations with myself to where, like, hey, something got to change. You either going to lose your mind still talking to him. Or you're going to gain some sanity once you kick him to the curb. So, and I had to choose, and I chose that I want a peace, I want peace of mind. I don't be in drama. I'm not a drama type person. Dealing with my covert narcissist, he brought drama into my life. Unnecessary drama. <laughs> like, and I had to get real with myself. And I had to ask myself, like, so before you met him, were you in drama? And as I'm, I'm questioning myself and I'm answering these questions myself, I'm like, no, I was not in no drama. I was not dealing with psychopaths. Like it was, my life was peaceful before he came into it. So my advice, you know, if you struggle with self-love, at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. So maybe you need to look in the mirror and re repeat and recite affirmations. Uh, what helped me is that I write in my journal. I have a journal that I write in every single day. Uh, well, at nighttime before I go to bed. And in my journal, I will write how my day was or if I'm upset versus lashing out at people. I just write in my journal. And then after I write down my feelings of that day or if I'm going through something, that's when I will write my affirmations to, like, help me feel better, you know. And then I do this daily. So it's like now I don't care what other people say because at the end of the day, nobody knows me. 
but I know myself. So that's to me, that's all that matters. So a narcissist can tell you you gain weight, you're not good enough, you're not attractive, you you don't have no money and all this whatever stupid lies narcissists come up with. You have to be secure within yourself. You have to love yourself. And once you develop love for yourself, who cares what other people think? They dumb anyway. And the people that saying stuff about you, they don't have low self. I mean, they don't have self esteem neither. So it's like your opinion is definitely valid over here. So I just want to get that message out there. Like how I defeated my narcissist was I had to develop self love because if a person is still willing to put up with the narcissist bullshit, Clearly, you don't have no self-love. You don't have no boundaries. You don't have anything. You don't have no standards, no boundaries, no self-love, no self-worth. And to me, that's not fun. (laughs) Who would want to walk around with absolutely nothing? Like, what's the saying? Stand for something or fall for anything? Fuck that. I'm standing for something. And I'm standing for myself. 